Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce Detective and Inspector Gary Watts from Task Force Hydra, and I'm Detective Chief Superintendent Gail Hogan from State Crime Operations Command. There have been a number of offences over the last few days that have been quite concerning. Um, those offences are being investigated under Kilo Aquarius, and that investigation is being led by Task Force Hydra, working with the region's Metro South. Metropolitan North and South East region. You would understand that those investigations are current, so they're limited in what we can say today in respect to any of the operational matters, but we are prepared to answer questions. Um, we'd like to reassure the public that we are investigating those matters. We don't believe that they are random, that the, we believe that they are target, targeted offences, um, and that um, we will continue to investigate them. So, I open up for questions. Yes. Uh, is it new players uh, in, in, in South East Queensland being targeted here? Gypsy Jokers and Sydney, uh, Hells Angels and Sydney Origin? Uh, we don't believe so. We believe uh, this, uh, the current uh, incidents are localised to within Queensland, although uh, I am in contact with my interstate colleagues. Um, as I said, we do not believe that these incidents are any way uh, uh, linked to, uh, to what's occurring in the state. How concerned are you, because it seems to be retaliation, retribution, how concerned are you that this could escalate further? We are concerned that there appears to be um, an increase in these offences. We are quite concerned about that and we are putting the resources that we need to investigate them. We'd be calling on anyone who has any information uh, that may be able to provide that to Crime Stoppers. And if there are people out there that have information who uh, aren't inclined to contact Crime Stoppers and may need to provide that information under protection, we have the ability to provide those protection to those people and their families. Is there a concern that this could be the start of a bikey turf war? Well, we are concerned that, that, that they could continue to increase um, and we will investigate them and ensure that we have the resources to do so. The incidents last night, uh, are you concerned that these are certain outlaw motorcycle gangs that are feuding against each other, those two particular ones going at it, or is this just a wider issue amongst the motorcycle fraternity as a whole? Now, we believe it's a, a localised issue. Um, the, uh, the businesses associated with yesterday's incidents uh, have links to the Hells Angels outlaw motorcycle gang, and the incidents from several days ago have uh, um, links with the Bandidos outlaw motorcycle gang. So at this stage, it is our uh, interpretation uh, that it is a localised um, uh, dispute. Uh, and as uh, the Chief Superintendent said, we are um, very concerned or concerned that, that this might escalate. So we're working with our regional colleagues, both uh, Metropolitan North, Metropolitan South and also the South Eastern Region, together to, uh, to solve these crimes. Is it appear that the Gypsy Jokers could be involved as well? Uh, not at this stage. Uh, I am aware of an incident and we are uh, looking at uh, investigating that incident in conjunction with Kilo Aquarius, but at this stage uh, we haven't linked that incident to uh, the, the other incidents. What are you doing to ensure that this doesn't escalate further? As best we can, uh, we're working with uh, our regional colleagues uh, in uh, an attempt to investigate and to solve these crimes. And, um, and if we have sufficient evidence, we'll be putting people before the courts in relation to those offences. So evidence you don't think is linked to the two yesterday? I'm sorry, I just didn't quite hear that. Evidence you don't think is linked? We don't believe so at this stage, but you know, I'm, we're certainly open to that. And, and if, it, if it is the case, then we will link it. But at this stage, we don't believe it's linked. Have you spoken to any of the uh, we are making arrangements, and arrangements have been made to, uh, to meet with senior representatives of both the Banditos and the Hells Angels Outlaw Motorcycle Gangs. How cooperative have they been? Um, probably can't say at this stage. Um, there has been limited cooperation at this stage, um, but we'll certainly see how things progress uh, as the days go. How concerned are you, as the boss of Hydra, about the lawlessness that seems to be happening night after night here? Well, I certainly won't go to, to say that that's occurring, but we are concerned. Um, off offences of these nature um, are of concern to, to Task Force Hydra and uh, we utilise whatever resources we can in an attempt to solve them and we'll be doing the same uh, with the offences that have occurred to date. It certainly sounds very scary, late night shootings and motorcycle gangs, but how worried should the general public be about all of this? The, the general public, as I said earlier, we believe that this, these are not random um, offences, that they are targeted. So the general public um, needs to be mindful um, of, at, at any time in respect to things that they see or, or not to contact the police. But we don't believe that the general public are at risk at this time. I understand there may 
been an incident at Wyndham this afternoon. Are you aware of that and could that be linked? I am aware of the incident at this stage with the information known to me. I do not believe it's linked. However, that may change again as, uh, as investigations um, continue. Any idea what sparked this to happen over the last few days? Uh, no, not at this stage. We're, we're looking at a number of, um, of theories behind uh, the catalyst for, uh, for the escalation of uh, tensions between the two groups, and it's certainly something we'll be addressing. I think um, Channel 7 ran a story a couple of nights ago saying that they'd been told it was due to a Hells Angel bikey being bashed. Without going to the specifics uh, in relation to the number of investigations and the investigations we are conducting, um, that is certainly something that we'll be looking at. Did you have intelligence that this could have been simmering for a while? We heard from some people involved in the groups that they thought they predicted that this would happen. Did you have intelligence to say that this you know, was on the horizon? We, um, we don't comment on what intelligence that we have. What we can assure the public is that if we have int intelligence that we need to put out to the public to let them know that there may be a threat to them, we would do so. Will you step up patrols perhaps on known businesses with links to either Bandidos or Hells Angels members, given that they seem to be uh, a pretty easy target for one of a better term? That's certainly one of the options that we'll be looking at. Uh, in, uh, in finding a resolution to what's occurring. And how difficult is it, given they're notorious for their lack of cooperation with police, is it how much more difficult does it make your job when these things happen and you just get a wall of silence? Look, the non-cooperation of ONCG members with law enforcement agencies is a cause for concern. It makes our job more difficult, but certainly not impossible. So at this stage, the two incidents from yesterday are the only two that are being linked officially? Uh, the two incidents from yesterday and also the two incidents um, from uh, two days previous, I think it was Tuesday the 24th of April. Is it worrying then that, I'm sure you're investigating whether or not the Gypsy Jokers incident has links to these others, is it worrying that they may be, become a force in what is clearly a feud between the two other motorcycle gangs? Uh, we haven't been able to link that at this stage, so I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. Was the Gypsy Jokers clubhouse actually hit? Did they get the wrong premises? Uh, that, that's under investigation, but it's my understanding that the, the Gypsy Jokers Clubhouse itself was not damaged. It's very sim uh, similar to behaviour in Sydney at the moment. Do you think it could sort of be um, copycat behaviour and if the, the feuds in Sydney are sort of encouraging this? Uh, we do not believe that the incidents that are occurring in Queensland are, are linked to the incidents in New South Wales or interstate. Uh, we, we believe it's a localised issue uh, between the two groups. For us. Yes. They were. Yes, I can. Uh, the early hours of Tuesday, the 24th of April, a premises at Maruka uh, had a vehicle, a motor vehicle, destroyed by fire. That premises has links with the Bandidos Adler Motorcycle Gang. Um, some two hours later, a tattoo studio at Mermaid Beach uh, was a subject of willful damage by firearm. Uh, that premise is al also had links, has links with the Out uh, Bandidos Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. And then yesterday, um, just after 4pm I believe it was, the tattoo studio at uh, Norman Park, um, where uh, assaults and uh, damage, willful damage offences occurred. That has links with the Hells Angels Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. And about 30 minutes later, a locksmith at East Brisbane was a subject of assaults and damage offences, and that locksmith uh, has links with the Hells Angels Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. How the people that were injured in those? Sorry? The two incidents last night or yesterday afternoon. How are the two or four people that were injured in those assaults? How are they? Yeah. Um, they suffered injuries, but uh, certainly not life threatening injuries. So, despite all that, you wouldn't say that there's feelings that there's violent wars starting and escalating here in, in Brisbane in the south? No, we believe it's a, a local localised dispute between two outlaw motorcycle gangs. And just on the, uh, the tattoo shop yesterday, we were out there this afternoon and noticed some forensic people taking bullets out of the front of the premises. Do you know if that's related to yesterday or it's a previous? Our inquiries in relation to that are ongoing. I, I am unable to say uh, when that occurred. Um, so we'll certainly, if we get information, we'll release that if, if we can. So. But it, it's not my understanding that it occurred in yesterday afternoon's incident. Um, the broken arms and the baseball bats notwithstanding, is the substantive difference between the violence that's occurring in Sydney and the violence that's occurring here is that it's merely property being targeted, with the exception of those people yesterday? Can I have your question again, please? Sure. Is the difference between the 
city, the volatility, the volatility, being that it's only 